day. Today we're working on the company tour. We're going to practice showing a visitor around. And who are we going to see in action first? Brian. Mm -hmm. He is going to take Edward round his watch factory. Oh. Aren't we going to do sausages? All right, cut. Right, you ready, Nick? Yeah. Okay. Let's get started then. What's the first stage, Brian? The visitors are welcomed to the company. Right, let's do it. Welcome to Tempus, Mr. Bigley. I hope you had a good journey. Oh, it was fine, thank you, Mr. Um... Do I know his name? That's a good point. Could you introduce yourself? We've only just met. It's better to do it right away. Let's do it again, and this time, don't forget to shake hands. Welcome to Tempus, Mr. Bigley. My name's Brian Cook. I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Cook. Did you have a good journey? No, I didn't. The traffic was awful, and there was a crash outside the airport. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. He's changed his lines. Don't worry, Brian. That went very well. What happens next, Edward? Um, the visitor is offered something to drink. OK, let's do it. Would you like something to drink? Uh, coffee? Tea? I'd like, um, a double whiskey, please. <laughs> He's trying to be difficult. I can't do this. All right, all right, cut, Nick, Nick. Cut. Right, Nick? Yeah, fine. Move on to the next stage, Brian. The schedule is presented. Let me tell you your schedule for this morning. First, I'd like to tell you a bit about Tempus, and then we're going to look around the factory. Tempus PLC is one of the leading watchmakers in the country. We have a turnover of 12.2 million pounds. I think we can skip this bit, Brian. Good. <laughs> but it's interesting. What's the next stage? The visitor is shown around the factory. But I can't do that bit. But you must. It's very important. But can't I tell them about my factory? No, Edward. Let Brian carry on. Here we are at the start of the process of making a watch. In this stage, the face of the watch is stamped out of metal. Well, that's not very interesting. Then it's carried on a conveyor belt over there. Please follow me. In this stage, a piece of cardboard is stuck onto the metal face. Fascinating. Could you tell us a bit more about it, Brian? Well, it's round, and it's, there are some numbers on it. Amazing. The face is then carried over this way to the next part of the process. What is going to happen next? Here, the face of the watch is attached to the main body of the watch. That's the part with... Uh, Lots of little pieces inside. Very technical. What sort of pieces, Brian? Could you tell us about them? Well, they're very small pieces. Tiny. The watch is now ready. It's attached to the strap and taken to be packed. What is that all? That was terrible. <laughs> Sausages are much more interesting. Just listen. First, the delicious sausage meat is mixed with sweet-smelling spices. 
Next, the mixture is squeezed through an enormous tube into... All right, cut. That was very good, Brian. But you didn't give us much detail, did you? What about those little pieces in the watch? Are they difficult to put together? Yes, they are. Could you tell us how it's done? You see, we don't know, but you do. No, I don't. Sorry? I don't know how it's done. I don't work in the factory. I work in finance. Oh, no. We're going to have to do it again, Nick. We can't. We've run out of tape. We have a small problem. No, you have a large problem. We're a little way from home. You're miles from anywhere. We're very lucky you stopped. I agree. Well, we need to have the car towed home. Can you help us? It won't be cheap. How much? How far is it? About 50 miles. To take you and the car home? That's right. As fast as possible. A hundred pounds. A hundred pounds? No way. Plus V-A-T. That's out of the question. Well, you could sit here and wait for a few hours. You might get a better offer. On the other hand, you might not. No, wait. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. How about a discount for cash? I, uh, I'm afraid I've only got... 45 pounds. Would you accept that? 100 pounds. Let me speak to my wife. I told you to have the car serviced. Don't worry, it's, um... It's all arranged. This kind man is taking us home. Do you take American Express? afternoon. Do you need some help? Yes, we do. Would you like to come this way? Please, sit down. Coffee? Thanks. So, you have a problem with your car? That's right. We'd like to get home. Could you possibly take us? I see. 
Well, I have a truck, so I could take you home. And I'm always ready to earn some extra money. Excellent. We could get home, and you could earn some extra money. I think we can come to an agreement. Possibly. Could we discuss the terms in more detail? Where do you live? Stoke Nepton, a little village about 50 miles from here. Do you know it? No. Oh, you'd like it. It's a beautiful place. 50 miles is a long way. Exactly. And we need to be home before Mandy, our daughter, gets back from school. And I need to be home to feed my pigs. Of course. We both want to do this quickly. If you took us straight away, you could be home before dark. It might be possible. But it's a long journey. I'm afraid it won't be cheap. What price did you have in mind? <sighs> a hundred pounds. That's rather high. It's because the job is outside normal working hours. I always charge more for evening work. I see. If we paid cash, would you give us a discount? I might. Would you like to make me an offer? Let me consult my wife. Well, darling? He wants a hundred pounds. Have you offered cash? Yes, I think he'll accept 75. Try 70. How much have you got? 45. You? Mm, here's 30. Darling, whose account does this money come out of? I thought it might come out of the joint account. I'm sorry, but we did agree. The car is your problem, Peter. The money must come out of your account. OK? Yes, darling. I can offer 70 pounds. Seventy-five. Well, that's all we've got. Really? I told you to have the car serviced. OK, I didn't. I'm sorry. Now, please, get back in the car and let me handle this. Can you get us back to civilization? Never heard of it. We need to get back home. Can you take us? Well, I'm going this way. So you have to turn your truck around. It's not impossible. What's wrong with the car? It's broken down. If I knew what was wrong with it, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. OK, you want money. I've got 45 pounds and a credit card. Do you use them around here, or do you only use beads? Oh, no. I think I've seen a credit card before. Have you got a repair manual? Yes, actually, I have. Well, I suggest you use that instead. No, wait. No, wait, stop! Come back! Martha, what are you doing? Darling, you're a genius. How on earth did you do that? Martha? Darling! <laughs> 